here. Uh, it's Thursday night. We're going to do a little designing today. Um, I'm going to get right to it, uh, but um, I didn't get everything set up in time because we have a new puppy. That's right. Um, we got, uh, Beth went today and got a new puppy from uh, a shelter up in um, Colleen, and she's been wanting a new dog for some time. Our current dog is getting old. Um, so she wanted a new puppy to kind of help her in her elder years and good for the puppy too to have somebody kind of a little younger training you up kind of thing. So um, that's what we're doing tonight is going to be dealing with our new puppy dog. Um, and if we get a second, maybe you can see her on the camera here in just a little bit. Um, I uh, So I just jumped on here at the last minute, so I'm still setting up a little bit. But anyway, hope everybody's doing all right. It looks like everything's running properly, so let's open up chat and see who's in here, if anybody. Open in browser. Haven't even opened my beers yet. Um, it looks like there might be a little bit of lag, so sorry about this. All right, so we got that. Uh, yeah, so that's going. I don't know why it's taken so long, goodness. Oh, I do, I have an idea. I think I should go, um, I, my PlayStation's on, so I think I'm gonna go turn that off. So give me just a minute. You can kind of hear in the background there, somebody's playing. Yeah, close that. All right, so today's stream, we're gonna be working in studio again. I haven't done this in a while. And we're going to be doing a uh, Maelstrom class battle cruiser. Now, Maelstrom, Maelstrom battle cruiser is one that has not been really fleshed out by anybody. Uh, well, I mean, it has been, and you can see some of the screenshots here. But, um, uh, okay, so nobody's in chat yet, good. Um, yep. So any second now, this little puppy is going to come walking behind me here. Anyway, Maelstrom ba Battle Cruiser is one that has been talked about in um, Legends material, and um, mentioned in novels, but not in anything else. So uh, a couple of people have taken it upon themselves to do some renderings of it. Hence this rendering by. Uh, Breakfast of Champions or uh, Heart, of a Cha Heart of a Champion 2006. So this is the one we're kind of basing it off of. Um, Eckhart's Ladder has also done a video of it and you can check it out. Just type in Maelstrom Battlecruiser and it's probably the first one that comes up. Anyway, this is the idea that they came up with. There's obviously other interpretations of it. Uh, other people have kind of um, looked at it differently. What's up, Lego Geek? Um, you only follow the canon things. Yeah, a lot of my stuff isn't canon anymore because um, it's all in Legends. Um, I've been trying to redo some stuff. Um, but I will also show a little bit of a thing that I did today or the last couple days. Um, if I can get to it. So yeah, I kind of jumped in here in the last second. I apologize. Um, let's see. What's up? What's up, Miss Lisa? Miss Brazzle? Mrs. Brazzle? You have a new grand dog, Miss Lisa. Uh, studio files. And it was called. Oh, that's cute. So, um,. This is based off, this is a reverse engineer of this other guy on Flickr who has done some really good um, models and I kind of get a little bent out of shape because they are very good. Oh, there it is. There's the barking. Well, let's see what happens when the cat. All right. Uh... Well, when they're about to leave, Lisa, I'll have I'll put the camera up and you we'll bring her in here. So 
So this is Lug a Beast. So this was based off somebody else's um, design. So I just basically reverse engineered it. The other thing is that they um, they didn't have fidelity of color. So they um, a lot of these pieces in here weren't available in any color. So I had to go back and fix that. And then there's like, I had to add a piece right here because this wasn't structurally sound. You can kind of see where that wouldn't have been. This would have fallen just off the back end. So um, turned out pretty good. I might build it. Uh, it comes with a Tito figure. Um, so that's kind of what I worked on last week. It's been a while since I've done something like this. Um, it's not a bad design. I'm a little jealous of how good it is. Um, but the whole reason I haven't put it up on um, Rebrickable is because it's not my design. So, uh-oh, Barky Barks. So, all right, are you about ready to leave? Yeah. Do you want to pick her up so your mom can see her? Yeah. All right. So real quick, before the dog leaves, this is the beer we're doing. I'm going to flip back over to OBS and do a full camera. So this is the beer we're doing. Narwhal Imperial Stout. Haven't had this one yet by Sierra Nevada. It's out of um, Nevada. Oh wait, Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, Chico, California. So it's out of California. So that thing is actually a beast that has armor put on it. And that big head thing is to kind of keep it, it's like blinders on a horse, you know, it keeps it focused. Okay, here it is. Here she Here's is. Kaylee. This is Kaylee. Say hi, everybody. Hi. She, look at these paws. Look at these paws. Look at the paws. Look at she's the gonna she's be a big giant girl. dog. She's gonna be a big girl. The giant dog at the paws. But she's so cute. She's, she's very stinky. cute. She's stinky. She needs a bath. We're gonna get. Um, You're gonna get some blueberry wipes or whatever. Get some wipes because I don't want to traumatize her with giving her a bath. Yeah. Could I have you open the door for me? Really yes. Quick? Listen to some music, folks. I'll be right back. Can I have you open the car door for me too? Yeah. It, give me a couple minutes because. Uh, we gotta get her in the car. I'm so sorry. Right here? I'm sorry. Alright, I'm just gonna do a little do something. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to Boy, Fizzgate. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, she's a black lab mix. Um, I forget what the mix is. So, yes, um, her. We've named her Kaylee. Um, Fizzgate got his name from the Dark Crystal, and um, I'm gonna flip back over to this. Um, so I'm gonna start a new a new project. I'm not gonna save that. Um, and Kaylee comes from, uh, K-A-L-E-E, -E, comes from uh, Firefly, the character of Firefly, Kaylee, and her name is like Catawinda Lee Fry, right? So, um, so we've named her Kaylee because that was Beth's favorite character on Firefly, and we both really like Firefly, so that's what we're going to name her. All right, so now that the puppy is out of the way, She's going to be taken to PetSmart to buy her some stuff. She's going to get toys and some puppy food and stuff like that. So she just wanted to get up to Colleen and get back because that's like an hour drive. But now we have a new puppy. So this ship has been rendered by a couple people. And I'm picking this one because it looks kind of like what Eckhart's Ladder did. Um, now it's kind of a just a very um, average looking. I mean, it's, it looks like it's a Venator bridge so this may be really easy to get into um, a venator bridge with some extra bits on it and it's hard to see what the underside might look like so we're gonna play around with it a little bit I think I may start by trying to get the venator files off of here and then we'll play um, 
Kaylee. Yeah, so we went back and forth. We thought about maybe Willow. Uh, we've been into Buffy lately, so we thought maybe we'd do Willow. Um, and then we thought about maybe naming her Carol Danvers. A little Captain Marvel action. But um, uh, I didn't want to name a dog Carol. That just seemed not great. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this Venator that isn't my design. And... We're gonna build upon it. And I forget now that I'm on a Mac and the mouse buttons rotate differently. So yeah, I'm not terribly happy that I'm working with some other people's stuff, but I've been out of practice a little bit, so we're gonna just, we're gonna roll with it. I'm also not really happy with the lights on my glasses because they're dirty glasses. All right, so this was, again, somebody else's design, but you can go ahead and see where um, it's going to start looking a little bit more like the Venator here. The double bridge and the way it's got the red stripe down the middle and it's got the basic Star Destroyer um, look. So we're going to keep a lot of that. I mean, we can even recolor these to dark red. Not available in dark red, so we're going to have to figure something else out. That sucks. Um, I think what I'll do is just get rid of those and we'll do some. Now this is a, this model is actually a bit big for a, a micro fighter. It's how many pieces, it's 157 pieces already. So I might try to tone it down a little bit as well as add to it. Cause you can see, I mean, there's not much that, you know, difference that I'll need to do. It's kind of, adding some extra wing parts on the side here. And I'm gonna get rid of these flick fire missiles because I do not like the flick fire missiles. I'm also going to tweet that we are live. We are live, yes? Okay, cool. So how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a good day. We got a puppy and there's a new puppy over here. So that's good. That's gonna be um, a lot of, uh oh, I'm missing a thing. It's gonna be a lot of work. Puppies are lots of work, um, but I think Beth is looking forward to it. Um, she's looking forward to training. She's looking forward to having a little kind of puppy in here that she can um, play with and raise up good and it helps everybody's uh, um, everybody's blood pressure. Um, let's see, let's tweet this. 15 minutes in, live. Come say hi. Uh, Lego. So, um, yeah, the, the cockpit's a little, the bridges are a little tall. I might take that down a little bit. Um, if you've noticed on some of the uh, the Star Destroyer ones, um, they are also very tall. And I'm actually not a fan of how big these are, so I'm going to go ahead and start reducing because I like all of this. Nope. Got to get used to my Mac controls again. I like all of this, but I think it's just too big. And I have this one built. Um, and you can kind of see, I'll bring it out maybe and show you. And I realize everybody's going to want to be, everyone's going to come on here and be like, where's your dog? I want to see the dog. So move those back and then can I color everything red? So everything color red? Yos. All right. I may actually keep that to dark. Seems a little nicer. Right, and you can see that kind of goes with, I can't really tell how big this is, but 
Yeah, it looks like the whole thing, and I can't get a better view of that, but again, this is somebody's interpretation, and I think I am going to lower these, so let's get rid of those, and just repeat this. That's a little more manageable. Plus it's a fewer, a lot fewer pieces. And it still gives the aesthetic. Um, and I think they had uh, the, what it looked like from behind too. I don't know how many of these they put up. Oh. Yeah, this almost looks like I want it to, uh, Oh, they rendered the insides of it too. So here it is compared to like a Venator and Venator 1 and Venator 2, I guess. I don't know what that is. But it looks like the engine blocks. So we could keep that engine block and maybe do two more out here. These little kind of flanges. Trying to watch me on Facebook, but you don't know how. So if you go to my page, that one has a lid on it. If you just go to my page, it should be one of the posts on there. Um, like the top, top, uh, story in the timeline. And if it isn't, let me know. So getting rid of these cause flick fire missiles. Am I right? F these flick fire missiles, but then I got to fill in these holes. So what is that? Tile of undetermined type. What is that? It's a plate. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is get rid of that and get rid of that. There's probably a whole substructure under here that I could... 2 by 6 1 by 4 Those need to be on something. Oh, I've got an idea. Well, let's see what it looks like in the model. Yeah, these things just get so big that it's kind of like, so this all has to go away because this isn't going to be angled anymore. So all this has to go. Mm -hmm. What's up, Josh? How's it going? I don't know how many people are actually on Facebook right now, but there you go. I'm actually supposed to be drawing right now because I've got a drawing that I need to do for band. Um, we do um, um, band boosters has uh, on either side of the, when you go to high school football games, the band has the band boosters and the band booster parents usually come together and they give each other a gift and they say hi and you're doing a great job and it's a kind of a nice little way to um, link communities and stuff like that so everybody gets each other kind of a gift basket and uh, we thought we did a really nice one last time and we really got showed up so we're trying to do a nice one this time and they've asked me to draw a pirate because apparently it's National Talk Like a Pirate Day and it has nothing to do with the school mascot because the school mascots are longhorns and I'm like why are we doing a pirate I guess because of ER Talk Like a Pirate Day it'd be that day again so I have to draw a pirate playing a trumpet. So I sketched something out today and that was fun. Um, hat. I also forget how small the screen here is. Um, officer, cap, there we go. So this is technically um, a Clone Wars era ship. So so it's hard to do Clone Wars era stuff because there's not a lot of Clone Wars era 
um, Lego bits. Do I have snap? Oh, I don't have collision on. Well then, snap to the location, dummy. There we go. That needs to be gray. All his arms need to be gray. His pants need to be gray. Boring gray. This was um, Palpatine, Senator Palpatine. Let's get a better head in there. Beard. Let's give this guy a beard. He has to look like a clone though. That's pretty good. No, nope, I don't like those eyes. I like the ones with the, the lit up eyes. And nope, it's got a dual head. You can't do dual heads. Maybe this one? Yeah, sure, why not? That's an officer who's grown a little stuff. Again, you can make all this up because it's a clone officer. You can do anything you want with it. Um do 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 Sorry, I'm getting text messages from said band boosters so I was just reading up on that all right so let's take a look at this guy do we have more of a top view and again this is the designed by this person heart of a champion 2006 um, it was a, a steam mod so this is one of the few images that I found oh there's a good one so you can see this kind of bulks out a little bit right here. Um, I don't know that I want to make it too bulky. This is going to be straight. So we'll have to figure that out. That's a really long piece in there. Almost want to stay with the um, the brick built options. Maybe do one more. And then do the wings. that one by two don't need that just yet so we'll probably need to come back in here and fill all this up maybe not that quite yet let's do because I don't want to go too far out unique let's let's come on all right so there we go that's what I want to see yeah all right maybe we can't go that far back I have no idea how to use Facebook. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Fair enough. I mean, you're good watching it here. Why does it keep wanting to go to Finder? So let's do a three by one slope. I 
which way does it it goes more that way so let's do a two by one slope we don't want to get too big because again this is just a micro fighter don't want to get too carried away yeah but that's not enough that's not a big enough change I guess we'll have to do that Hey, I got an email saying that I'm live on my channel. Good job, YouTube. All right, so let's see. Now, these are straight. So what I want to do is maybe do a, because I don't know what the underside looks like. So let's do one by four brick studs, threads. I can read, I can type. We got that going on. So then we can put one of these on it, or two of these. And then I'm just going to do a one by two tile. Oops. Just like so. Probably do something like printing a sticker right there if we really wanted to. Oh. This doesn't need to be this color. I'm going to make it darker to give it a little more separation. Got to keep them separated. Oh, now I have zero viewers in here. Neat. All right, talking to myself. Lego Geek, are you Julian? I don't want to say your last name. Where are all these people commenting on my post?
Okay, I think it's messing with me now. Because it just says my son sent me a friend request. Pretty sure these are all old notifications. All right, so, sorry about that. There was a gap in the time there, and blah, blah, blah. That still slopes in a little bit. So let's do an inverted tile, three, or inverted slope, inverted. That works. Now I just have to tie it all together. Put some uh, thrusters on it. I can just put some like some of these guys on it and be done with it. Well, it gives it a little texture, but I don't think I can be able to put anything on it. So let's not. I kind of wanted to get these things. Um, ooh. I have an odd deal. Bring it. What? Oh, it's because... Yeah, all right. So no go on that. I guess just filling the holes in there. Don't want to get too carried away because you don't want too many parts. What's up, G? How's it going? Oh, hey, Greg. Guess what, Greg? Um, you should rewind the video to the beginning where we showed off our new puppy. Beth got a new dog today. And she is at PetSmart with it now, but we'll be over here later. So feel free to come over and say hi to the dog because we're going to just be watching Buffy and, um, oh, I could do, these would be, that action up. Ooh, and this will be cool. What is that? Plate. I always like doing that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah.
Uh oh. Oh, that's the torso. Okay. So now I think I want to do something fun and do one by one round brick. I say fun like it's, you know, going to a water park and I'm just like, yeah, look at this. Look at this little technique. Just because that makes me happy. One by one plate. I like it. All right, so that's the main body done. Look at that. Oh, how many pieces are 166? That is a ridiculously high number of pieces. Lightning strike within 10 miles. All right, so let's, because I haven't saved this, that would be tragic. Cruiser, not Maelstrom. So this back end's got a couple of these other little pylons, and then I think it's got more engines, but I'm not really concerned about how big the engines are, so let's make some more pylons. that plate. Cat. Stop digging in my boxes of Lego, man. Oh, perfect. That's so sassy. Um, sorry, stuff happening. So I think what I'm going to do is do a little bit of one by one jumper, one by two jumper. Oh, I wonder if these come in gray. They do. Oh no, that's white. Dag nabbit. That would have been so pretty. And I want these. I just need to change this to light gray. Inverted. Hey Claire, what's going on? And then I think just do 
just a repeat of these guys. And then you know what? Call it a day. There you go, Maelstrom class battle cruiser. Done and done. So this is basically the Venator, but I lowered the bridges and we added some of these wings on it to look like that. And then, you know, they added little, um, I don't even know what these are called, heat sinks, cowlings, something like that. And then uh, kept this main one, kept the engines the same, added a couple more engines over here. The problem with little ships like this and big capital ships is capital ships tend to have 40 engines on them on the back end. Um, a good example of that is if you ever look at the um, the Supremacy, um, the giant wing Star Destroyer from The Last Jedi, um, it has a ridiculous number of engines on the back. And to do it as a micro fighter, it's like, well, I can put eight or 10. So there we go. Get any kind of uh, clone officer in there, Bob's your uncle. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and be done with it. Um, so I might take a look at another one that I could start doing. Maybe one that's a bit more design challenging. So I'll pull up the list here in a second. Um, sorry, I got a lug, a lug friend texting me to come get some stuff. All right, so yeah, good with that. So let's see, um, if we go here, I don't know where the ship list really is. I think this is the right one. Yeah, this is probably close. So uh, we just did the Maelstrom. What's the Vigil? It's a Vac Bear class cargo frigate. Vac Bear class. Yeah, sure. Today on Ben Googles. Ooh, neat. Oh yeah, you know what? This is one that was kind of Yeah, this one's kind of cool looking. I like this one. So let's uh, see if we can find some images of this. Other than that one. I'm sure there's gonna be like a really good drawing and then that one. It needs to be bigger. Open image, all right. So it looks like it's got this sort of, this looks like um, a super kit bash of like a, uh, um, a GR-75 and maybe a bit of a Nebulon B or Nebulon frigate. And then she's almost like a T6 shuttle right here. And I mean, the rest of this looks like it, they got it off of like an Apollo Saturn V rocket or something. So yeah, let's uh, let's do some kit bashing. Let's see if there's another angle that you can see it. See, that's kind of a better look. That's actually, don't know what that's made out of. 
That one looks like it's made out of Lego. Resistance capital ship. So this is a resistance ship. Actually, yeah, because this is a, a free Vigila, free something or other class bunker buster. This is a, I can't tell what that is. Like a Nebulon C. The Anodyne. Yeah, Nebulon C, Vakebar class. They don't have the Vakebar class in that picture. All right, so. But anyway, so the first thing we need is a figure. I'm just gonna grab the figure out of this. Close and then V. I always have a figure so you know how big to make this. <clears throat> but it's all gonna be it's gonna be resistant, so it'll be a different um it's gonna be like one of these. And it's gonna be kind of like a dark Hand, even though I'm totally making this up because these guys don't actually exist. And then I don't know what his pants are going to be. Just, just make them. That probably needs a gun belt, but he's going to be sitting down, so I don't care. So let's make him uh, that color. Looks good to me. And he doesn't have a hat. He has hair. Short. Uh, Bricks and banter, hi. Are you testing because my main screen is blank? Oh no, I'm not. I don't know how that worked. Okay, that sucks. Thank you for that. Um, Control-B must... Oh, you know what? Control-B does that. So uh, Command-B will switch the views. And it's also a, a command in studio. So I've been working blank this whole time. Can you see it now? Can you see it now? I'm hoping it's better. Man, I don't know how long you guys haven't seen... So here's the finished battle cruiser. That sucked. So yeah, there's the battle cruiser. There's the Maelstrom class battle cruiser. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Arg! It be looking like I made a mistake. I need to walk the plank. There be pieces of eight in this pieces of Lego ship. So yeah, is that better? All good. Fantastic. So I will try not to do control B and I'll try to keep an eye on my screen over here so I can see if I've effed that up. So anyway, now that we're looking at it properly, this is the new ship that I want to be working on, the Vakebore class battle cruiser or Vakbear, the Vigil. It's another resistance ship. So we're designing a resistance guy. Uh, and he needs hair. Sure, why not? That's good hair. Uh, we'll make it brown. Resistance guy, right? Oh boy. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a uh, micro fighter. Um, hey, uh, thanks for the host, Goldie. Appreciate that. So can you only see Twitch chats? No, I can see Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube chats. Um, can you guys not see the other chats? Because I was supposed to have a bot that was on there um, where you could see everybody's chat. So I don't know if that's working or not. 
Let me check. Oh, you see them all? I'm gonna leave them. Fantastic. The only ones you don't see, and this is because um, Restream doesn't have Facebook API in properly, is we won't see Facebook chats, but currently there's nobody talking. So if I see something that may, the other people may need to say, I will totally say it. I don't like having all the chats up on the screen because I think it eats away at screen space, and especially when I'm doing this kind of stuff, it, I feel like it gets in the way. So that's why I haven't done that, but um, either way, it doesn't work. So, so yes, new people, Bricks and Banter, uh, Gal has been here before. Um, this is mostly what I do on my stream other than build with my girlfriend, is that I take uh, Legends ships like this and I create um, micro fighters out of them. Um, and I have uh, a whole lot of them done. Um, if you ever want to peruse a library of micro fighters, I have a whole, I've got like 150 of them made um, or designed, and then I've got maybe 30 of them built. And so when I get more parts in, I do live builds and I'll build that. So that's what's going on now. Um, and I did the, the Maelstrom, which is a, uh, sort of a mentioned only in a book um, ship, but it was um, brought to life kind of by uh, Eckhart's Ladder, a YouTube channel called Eckhart's Ladder. And then somebody did a nice render of it, so I built it out of, I made a uh, microfighter out of it. So I'll put these parts up on my Google Drive and the I'll do instructions for them at some point, and then if you ever want one, you can build it. So that's what we're doing. So now, though, we're going to do this VACBOR class, which is going to have a big spine in the middle. We've got to figure out where it, this guy's going to sit. Oh, and I also drink beers. This is the beer I'm drinking now. Let me get over so you can see it. Narwhal Imperial Stout from Sierra Nevada. I am a big sucker for Imperial Stouts. And then when I'm done with this, we're going to go to the uh, Oktoberfest, which I've already had. But I've, I very much like the real ale Oktoberfest. I like it. For those of you just joining, you missed, we got a new puppy, um, Goldie, we got a new puppy. You can kind of rewind when this is done to the beginning of the stream and see Beth was taking it to PetSmart to get a few things, so you'll be able to see it. So, all right, so we're going to go back to the uh, building. All right, so he's got a big spine right here. I'm probably going to sit him up in the front because I don't like sitting things on a spine like that. So I think first thing we're gonna do is get a couple, uh, cur no, slope. Let's see what kind of slopes we can find. I want curved though. If anyone is curious, I'm using a, oh, you know what, I'm totally gonna use these. I'm using a software called, um, Studio or stud.io. I don't know how they want us to pronounce it now. But uh, can I do it half a thing apart? That would be so baller. I wonder how I could pull that off. Because that's what it kind of looks like. Looks like it's separated a little bit. Um, it's a software put out by Bricklink. Um, maybe just like that. Maybe just one apart. Of course, that's a full one. Negative. One by three plates. Goldie, did you have a good birthday? I hope you had a good birthday. It looked like you had fun. I hope everyone else's day is going well. I hope if you are viewing in from Houston that you are safe. Because it is flooding out there. And this is kind of, this looks to be tan. So let's see how much of this we can get in tan. None of it. Of course. Uh, all right, let's see. Hide unavailable colors. What are you available in, my friend? Yellowish green, orange, Ugh, dark red. Well, maybe that's not a good pick. Maybe we'll have to go with something else. 
Uh, okay. Well, thanks for coming by, Gala. Galagade. I appreciate your viewership. Um, and we will be back Sunday. So stop by then. And yeah, this was kind of uh, early-ish anyway. Five o'clock is kind of early. Um, but we have a thing going on tonight. So, um, But I appreciate you stopping by. Wedge. So there are these curved wedges that are like this. That would look good right up in here. But it looks like there's they need to be smaller. Again, I'm trying to do a scale. Oh, I could really have used those. Well, maybe I'll do a, um, maybe I'll just do, oh, and everybody who's watching has to deal with my weird um, love of chiptune video game music. All right, where are you? Oh, there it is. Well, maybe I'll make it gray. I kind of wanted it to be tan, because then I could have tan and orange, and that'd be fun. All right, so let's see. Does that come in tan? Yes, all right, so maybe we'll just do that. Two by three plate. It's got some guns and some other stuff under there, so we'll build that up. Put these tiles on. So that's gonna sit on some jumpers, so we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. be a bitch. I mean, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Yeah, so this is going to be unique because I'm going to have to get like little guns in here and stuff. So, um, binoculars to the rescue. But they don't have anything to... Maybe when I turn these upside down, I can put them under there. Then we're gonna do a bar. That usually finds it pretty quick. Where did it go? Software gets updated and I lose like track of, oh, there it is, everything. All right. We got that going on. So he's gonna sit right here. Perfect. In fact, Two by six plates. Hasn't gone black back to black yet, so good job. Hmm. Also, if you're just joining us, I go till about six thirty. Um, I go about an hour and a half. I've already got one thing done, so I feel like. Anything else at this point is gonna be gravy. So we'll just keep working until it's about that time. So now I've gotta do these under slopes. Inverted slope. And maybe there are some uh, curved ones, but I don't think there are. Did 
There's like this. That's way too big. Imagine that as a micro fighter piece. But it's crazy. It's like, that's just so, that's just. That has to conflict. That has to. What? Oh yeah, that's totally not, yeah. Don't play me like that. So, uh, let's do... That's better. They don't come in tan. Just show the dang... Oh, I know for a fact these come in tan. Oh, not light flesh. I was gonna say hello. Hello. There we go. Yeah, I don't like seeing, I know this is for the minifig because I'm making the minifig up, but I don't like seeing regular parts like that. And I think I'll do a, huh. These come in tan. God bless it, really? How about the ones? Okay. So this is where I run into problems sometimes because these are. You can get some parts and you can get others and and I'll do one by two grill. I'll do that one as dark gray. I need something to come up underneath that. Oh, and these don't because they're not tan. God, that would be perfect. Mm. Well, I could fake it. Except, how much, how expensive are these? 30 cents each? That's pricey. Two by three plates. Oh, there's one in here already. Copy paste.
See, okay. <laughs> oh, studio, you're giving me, you're making me crazy, dude. That's obviously a conflict, or that's obviously a collision. But you're not, why are you not registering collisions? Why is it taking you so long to do anything either? You know what? Oh, uh, file save as. This is a what? Vac Bear class cargo frigate. Vac Bear class cargo frigate. So I think I'm going to um, quit this real quick and then I'm going to start it again because I think there's an update. And I apologize for doing an update while we're streaming, but the collisions aren't working, man. I don't know what to do. Mm. I need to text. Uh, a friend. Um, coming over for a uh, cornbread. There we go, update now, see that? Look at that. It looks my Facebook feed has stopped. That's weird. Yeah, I'm not totally convinced that a lot of the stuff just doesn't lock up. And I refreshed the chat page, so if you've said something, I didn't catch it. I'm sorry. Um, I've ordered some new parts. I think next time, next Thursday, hopefully I'll get them all by then. Um, we'll build Ray's speeder. I got a little Ray's speeder design, so we can do that. If I got the parts right. I might try to order a couple more sets of parts by then and get, um, I think I have like an ATAP that I want to build and um, the punishing one, which is Dengar's ship. I've got most of the pieces for that, so I have to order some more parts for that. Um, so I'd like to get back into doing more just straight micro fighter stuff. Although apparently I do have some drawing to do. If you weren't here, like a week ago, I don't know if I can do this without spilling it everywhere, but yeah, this is Lego instruction because we just built stuff. This is all my art stuff that should go over here. Front row. Don't leave home without your brick separators and your chewy eraser. So this is what we did last time. Well, thanks for coming by, Bricks and Banner. Um, Sundays and Thursday nights usually. So if you want to come back and see how things turn out, I usually do a recap. Um, and uh, Or start new stuff, or I do some drawing. So I did a drawing of Beth's niece as a Jack in the Box coming out of Jack in the Box. I have to add bunny ears, because the original one had bunny ears. So this is something for them. And then apparently I also have to draw a pirate for tomorrow night. So slowly getting back into doing some drawing, um, but mostly Lego. So thanks again for stopping by, I appreciate it. Oh, I did that again, so I just killed it. Yep, full scene, there we go. Updating, still updating. Oh, you know what, this may have been a mistake. Um, Yeah, because we're waiting for that. What does the build camera look like? Oh, I don't have that plugged in. Oh, 
Oh no, there we go. Build camera. Yeah. So I mean, I could sit here and, and sketch out. This seems to be five. Hello. How's it going? Everybody say hi to Dan. <laughs> um, Beth took the new puppy to PetSmart to get stuff. So when you guys get back, there will be a puppy. Yeah, it's it's terrifying. Um, I think it's just around the corner next to the stove. So a blue and white box. Sweet. Yeah, the more, the less that we cook, the less Allie tweaks. So that's always good. Thank you so much. We'll see you in like an hour. <clears throat> Say bye, Dan, everybody. All of the three people. <laughs> All right, so I have to draw this out. This is going to be a three and a half by five and a half. So I'm just going to, because the card has to be really small, apparently. So three and a half. I have to like eyeball it because I'm not sure. Although, you know what? I'd like it to be like a middle so I can. So let's just pick an arbitrary. I don't like having to draw to the edge. So let's just pick three and a half from that. So if, for those who don't know, I used to do comic books. And by comic books, I mean unpublished stuff that was just me. Um, five and a half. But I did them, and I also did a lot of cartoons and commissions for people. Far away is that? Dang it. Let's do one inch. And I have an almost degree in art from. Metro State in Denver, but I never did anything with it. So yeah, this is, now I just got to sketch out a pirate playing a trumpet. I don't think this is that big. Is somebody at the door? Hello? Greg! So, I'll tell you what. I know not a lot of people are watching, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. I'm sorry to uh, cut it short. Next week, we'll continue on with the... Um, with the... Um, this guy. And then maybe I'll do a little more sketching. Um, but we'll see you then. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. It was good hanging out with you, and have a great weekend and a great rest of your week. Bye.